right now I'm actually in the waiting room because I am waiting to have an ultrasound done and comment down below if you've ever had an ultrasound. I would think you would only have an ultrasound if you're like pregnant, but nope, that is not the case. And I'm also having x-rays done and a bone density test. And uh, yeah. Okay guys, so I am about to change into these lovely pants right here because you can't have no wire during like ultrasounds and x-rays. So here we go, let's change. Oh yes guys, this is the new fashion. Okay guys, so I just got done with the bone density test and this test is basically to measure how strong my bones are and I am on steroids and I take that every day and that can really hurt like your bones and stuff. So they're just keeping a close eye on that. And then I did an ultrasound and man, the guy that like did it was like pressing down like so hard like I can't even explain it but yeah it wasn't too bad so I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update I'm in like a secret waiting room so yeah it's pretty lonely back here guys so guys I kind of was just thinking how crazy it was because the last time I did all these tests was like pre-transplant because you have to do everything before transplant to make sure everything is good and I just remember like I couldn't even barely make it through these tests because I was coughing my guts out like just like laying down on the ultrasound table like I was coughing up mucus so it's just crazy I think like where I am now and like how good I'm doing I guess so I'm just very thankful okay guys so I am back here at labs and my last thing to do is a PFT test and then I take like a breathing treatment then I do another PFT test and then I have to do a dreaded artificial blood draw a lot of people dread this because it's literally like a shot in the wrist is where they have to get the blood so it is very painful and of course I've done it and like had it done before so yeah not looking forward to that however this guy usually gets a pretty good stick on me so I actually requested for him to do it if he was here so I am hoping he is here and that he can get it and that it doesn't hurt too bad. I'm honestly like nervous. Hopefully it goes all right. But yeah, I just like hate, like I hate shots in general. And then like when you put it in the wrist, like that, that, that stuff hurts. So yeah. honestly, I'm so excited for all this testing to be over with so I can go eat at my favorite restaurant and celebrate my two year mark and then hit the road and go back to college because I literally like drove here last night to come to this appointment and then I'm driving like straight back. So yeah, I'm not really doing anything in my hometown. I'm just going straight back to college because I have exams this week. So today has just been like added stress and I'm not looking forward to those exams. So hopefully, I can finish up this appointment and hit the road, so. Big breath. Hold it. Hold it. Blow it out. Oh, mouth off good job. Okay guys, so we are back here in the little doctor's office and I actually already saw the doctors and they said that everything looks good, which is super good news to hear. Basically my biggest like thing I have to deal with is my kidneys and making sure I drink enough water. And I also wanted to tell you guys that it took three times to get the arterial blood draw, which was not... I was not happy, so what you gonna do about it? So yeah, I'm about to get out of here. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always, just following my journey. And it was it was a stressful day at the doctor's appointment, um, but I just appreciate your support so much on YouTube, on Instagram, and everywhere else. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to tell me and give this video a big thumbs up. 
subscribe down below if you want to see more of me and my life and I love you guys bye